Good morning, everyone! Happy Monday! Good morning to our viewers today. Welcome to Usapang Familia with Anatoline and Crisanta. Napakaganda ng discussion natin ngayon umaga because we will talk about stay healthy and active during this pandemic. Yes! Wow. <laughs> we're, we're so honored to have with us Doc Wellness, our coach. Danilo Limos Quinto, our Pampansang fitness guru. So let me introduce him to you before we meet him for now. So yes. Sir Danilo Quinto is married to Florence A. Quinto, and he has two children, Daniel and Michael. His chronological age is 69, and his <laughs> neurobiological age is 40. Yes. So we're going to ask you later about this. Yes. You know? So he studied BS uh, Physics at UP Diliman and also took trainer's course, nutrition and fitness, and also affiliated with United States Sports Academy. He's a licensed pro boxing promoter, manager, and trainer. He's also the founder of uh, Blue Zone yeah. Wellness and Longevity Movement. Of course, he's also an entrepreneur, the owner and manager of 888 Home finishing based in Baguio City. His legacy is to be the evangelist in sharing to people how to live healthier, happier, and longer fulfilled lives. Wow. So we're so honored to have with us Doc Wellness Danilo Quinto. Yeah. So okay. <laughs> Hi, wellness friends. Uh, I'm thankful to Anatoline and Pisanta Padilla, very good friends of mine. And uh, I'm just thankful for this opportunity to be sharing some tips, some principles for overall wellness. Now, when I talk of wellness, I'm including their fitness, health, and long life, basically. Okay. Yeah. So before that, uh, Coach Danilo, Dani. we have, or Coach Dani. Dani, Dani, Kuya Dani, we have viewers here with us. We want to thank Jared Pike Bangal for joining us. Charlie and Bangal. there's already a shout out here, Charilo Elvera Liad. Hi, Brother Kinto and Com. Wow. If you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so for those uh, who are watching right now, if you have questions after the discussion has happened, then please just comment below. And then we can discuss that later. Yes. We can ask the coach if time permits. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So tell us, Coach, what uh, what makes you busy nowadays, especially this uh, quarantine? quarantine time. Well, you know what? This gave me an opportunity actually to fast track some of the projects that I was thinking uh, some years ago. And uh, basically, I wanted to offer a course on overall wellness and longevity. And because of this pandemic, <laughs> I had to go online, study how it's being done. And I'll be offering that course basically two weeks from now. It will be an eight-week course entitled, would you believe? It's called 
uh, revealed the secrets of wellness and longevity that they don't want you to know. Oh. Uh, so during those eight weeks, I'm going to reveal secrets that basically not even your doctor wants you to know. <laughs> Well, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and they are excited to know more about that. Oh, definitely. You're, you're always welcome, yes. Yeah, especially nowadays, actually, we have very limited uh, activities. Mm -hmm. So we want to know more how to stay healthy and active. Yeah, as we can see your video, Kanina po, uh, Coach yeah. Danny. Wow. Um, you can still do that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. That was that was taken uh, a few months ago, last year, around I think November. Yeah. So I still do that. I still do that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So yung mga lolo and lola, yan, yung mga. <laughs> oh nga, oh nga. Kaya yun, kaya. <laughs> and, and actually, I think uh, Coach Dan, you can even surpass the youth. Some yes. of the, our youth, no? Yes. Yeah, so we can <laughs> see the activities that you're going to coach. Yes. Uh -huh. So. Our first question, Coach, is uh, how can we stay healthy when we are stuck at home? Oh, okay. Of course, you're talking basically of pandemic. Now, let me just put a wider context, you might say, to that question. Would that be okay? Sure. Uh, so I'll not be speaking not just for the, while we're staying at home during these pandemic times, but for long-term wellness. So the first thing that we probably need to put in our minds is during pandemics, don't panic. <laughs> you have to understand that our creator has created a magnificent body with all of the systems in place to make us well and take care of our own selves despite all of this uh, pandemic. Pandemics are not going to go away. After a while, there's going to be another one. Now, uh, I think number one that we need to understand is our wellness, so I'm talking of health and fitness, should be our number one priority. Why? Because it impacts all of the other areas of our lives. You cannot be holding a webinar like this if you're sick, right? You can be doing your job. You can be doing a lot of things if you're staying in bed, you're sick, you have a chronic illness. And so if you really think about it, your health has to be priority number one. Now, point number two, our body is designed for homeostasis. Meaning, oh, of course, that's a big word, but it's just meaning that our body is designed for balance. So much so that uh, if we do not do wrong things with it, then it will stay on a healthy course despite the outside environment, despite uh, viruses, it will stay on course. And we can live, believe it or not, up to 120 years. Our body is designed to live up to 120 years. Unfortunately, we have unbalanced it. We have the wrong lifestyles. And so we can panic because there's, there's this virus. And dito na yung COVID-19. Now, I'm not telling you to take off your masks or avoid the social distance. No, that, that's not the point. What I'm saying is we have a system it is created by God, basically, and we have a doctor within us, a wellness doctor inside our body that takes care of itself. But if we have the wrong lifestyle, ang labas non is illness, the absence of health and the presence of illness. Now, uh, number three, number three point is what is an illness lifestyle? Which, if you have a, the virus, any kind of virus, definitely it will affect you because you have an illness lifestyle. Now, one is wrong nutrition, meaning these are some of the things that we do. Uh, we have too much processed food. We eat too much processed food. We have, they are altered, they are not natural, and our body is designed for a specific level of fuel. Now think of your body like uh, the engine of a car, for example. Ngayon, kung yung kochi mo is uh, gasoline, yung kanyang fuel, what happens if you put diesel into it? 
I'm sure you can answer that. That's the wrong fuel. And so after some time, that car is going to break down because you're giving it the wrong fuel. That's the same thing with our body. Now, basically, I'm jumping ahead here. But you know what? Our creator actually already told us in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 29, what fuel to put in our own body. And I quote, And I, God, said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree bearing seed. To you it shall be for food. Doon pa lang sa first chapter ng Genesis, verse 29, sinabi na sa atin yun eh. So basically, the Lord is talking, our Creator is talking about plant food. Or I'll, I'll, I'll say something more about it, right? And uh, processed food, the wrong, the wrong fuel. Processed food basically is food that is no longer natural. It is altered. Now, habang sinasabi ko ito, sabihin niyo, after a while, eh, anong kakainin natin? <laughs> processed food, canned food, food that is altered, baked food. Nako, sabihin niyo, nako, baked food. Patay na tayo ito. <laughs> uh, right? Even cooked food, food that is already being altered. But I'm not telling you to let go all of that. But we have to keep it in balance, basically. You have to feed it organic and natural food. So that, that is the fuel that our body needs to keep it on homeostasis, right? Now, uh, we need to stay away from meat and meat products. Now, meat products, it includes milk, basically. I'm sure there's, there's going to be somebody who's going to ask uh, questions by and by. That includes trans fatty acids and, and food that are high in glycemic index. That includes processed sugar. Now, many of the sugar that we eat are white sugar. Now, I would recommend if you take sugar, you take muscovado sugar or honey. That includes also salt that is processed. Did you know that the fruit, the, the salt that we buy in our markets already processed? I would recommend you get rock salt. Diba? That's a lot healthier. Um, cooking oil. Did you know that cooking oil, most of the oil that we take in are basically processed ready. That includes milk. When you buy from the groceries, the oil that they sell you is already processed. One of the best oils that you can use is actually virgin coconut oil. Wrong food also includes stimulants like coffee and drinks like carbonated drinks. If you are drinking Coke or all of those, any of those carbonated drinks or processed drinks, please stop it right away. This will just lead to illness. Your body will be very unbalanced. And if any virus enters, mahina yung ating immune system. And so, pagka tama yung ating kinakain, the right kinds of food, the right fuel that our, our body was designed for by a loving Heavenly Father, then you're not worried about all of these uh, pandemics. Another one, aside from wrong decision, is our toxic environment. We have polluted our environment so much so that the air we breathe, naku, delicado na, hindi ba? Um, that it's a breeding ground of uh, viruses because we have changed the environment and there's a lot of chemicals floating all around. Many of the things that we consume, inadvertently there are chemicals there. There's lead, there's arsenic, there's mercury, even in the fish that we eat. Another one, a wrong lifestyle, is a sedentary lifestyle. If you keep on just sitting down and sitting down, unfortunately, because of uh, modern technology, we have cars, we have elevators, we have cell phones, we have many very convenient things, our lifestyle has become very sedentary. That we already forget how to walk, how to jog a little, and do a lot of uh, medium or low intensity exercises. Many, many years ago, it was a farming society, agricultural society, and people naturally were very active. 
Now, one of the basic rules of wellness is actually one of the basic one, number one or two, is the body is designed for movement. Now, when God created our body, He did not design it for being sedentary. Kailangan may movement tayo eh. But during those farming agricultural eras, people were walking all around the whole day and so they were active. But unfortunately, in our modern society, we have too many conveniences, so much so that we, we stay seated. Even our children, they're always uh, playing games. They, they never have time to go and play, play around already. Another is basically our accelerated uh, lifestyle. Modern lifestyle is very, very fast. So much so, we don't have time anymore to meditate, even pray, to be with our children. And when you enter a home, basically a lot of the people just holding their cell phones. And even if they are in one place, they, they, they're not focused on moving. They're just uh, texting or basically it's a very sedentary lifestyle. And so that all adds to an illness lifestyle. Okay, and so, so what is a wellness lifestyle? Okay, now let me start with, because I cannot cover all of these things in one setting. Let me just mention two or three basic things to have a wellness lifestyle. The first, of course, very basic is food and nutrition. Now, let me pause a little and ask a question. When I mention food, what comes into your mind? Brother Tony or Sister Isa? When I mention food, what comes into your mind? Rice, kagad po, koche, rice. <laughs> rice, okay. <laughs> How about Sister? Yeah. Krisa. Nowadays, I am crazy about Korean food. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Masarap naman actually yan eh. And so, uh, Basically, when, when you mention food to somebody, it is basic. There's, there's nothing, there's no, we have not committed any sin, whatever. Huh? When we answer that, uh, we think of uh, yung masarap, di ba? Food that is well prepared, na kung sarap niyan, so much so na pag kumain ka niyan, todo todo talaga. Okay. And uh, why, the second question is, so why do we eat them? Why? Would you like to give a short answer? Well, uh, ako po coach talaga pag, uh, dahil uh, I love cooking. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah I, I prepared healthy food talaga for, yeah, for the family, for the kids. At the okay. same time, masarap of course, masarap siya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yes, yes. Okay, see, 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 Krisa. Sometimes the reason is just people just crave for yes. it. Kasi minsan I see a lot of postings like, Oh, I crave for this. I crave, like craving. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. I, I would agree. Uh, that's, that's basically uh, uh, the, the answers for a lot of us. Now, let me suggest or tell you some of the things why we eat food and why when you say food, those two things should come into your mind. The first one is nutrition. We eat for nutrition. Important yun eh. And so when you eat, siyempre isipin mo ka agad, meron bang nutrients nito that can help me be healthy? Not just for now, but for a very long time. So you talk about nutrients. You talk about micronutrients and macronutrients. Meron vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, meron yun eh. Because if you choose the wrong kind of food, yung nutrients nyo ay wala. For example, uh, Sugar. Yung processed sugar, wala na yung nutrients noon. Wala na. Maybe it may sound sweet, pero nutrients yun, wala na. So most of our breads, basically, wala na nutrients actually yun eh. Processed na yung wheat, processed by sugar. So what are you taking? Those are empty nutrients. You're not supposed supporting a wellness body. The second one is energy. So Nutrients and energy. Did you know that without energy, we cannot really do anything, right? And where does our energy come from? It's some basic talaga nun is food. And if you choose the wrong kinds of food, 
your energy level is not going to be on optimum. At the same time, pagod ka na. Hindi mo lang bahit pagod eh. So yung pala, yung ating kinakain does not provide that amount of energy or it takes, when you consume it, it takes too much energy, so much so, yung pag Did you know, by the way, I just remembered it. Uh, eating, the metabolic process of eating actually has the most, takes the most number of energy from you. Did you know that? So much so that when you overeat, kunwari lunch, tapos sarap niyan, tapos busog na busog ka. Talaga. What are you going to do after that? Ang gusto mo lang, umupo. Ayaw mo nang tumaya. Why? Because all of the blood, most of the blood that's in you goes to the stomach and the body is now concentrating on digesting all of those improperly balanced food that you're eating. And it takes a lot of your energy. Wala ka na energy tuloy. And it's because it's improperly mixed and it's the wrong kind. Now, let me tell you something about that. I hope I have time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually, we are learning a lot. Yeah, that's very informative. We are really, really listening kasi nagigiya. Uh, actually, personally, I'm, I'm thinking ano kaya yung ipiprepare ko mamaya na help. <laughs> hello to our viewers right now. Our, our viewers from Canada, Florida and Stio. Hello. Thanks for uh, joining us. Richard De La Cruz, Gordon, Gordon Calipes, and of course, uh, Mom Florence. Yeah, thank you for watching. Yeah. Right. No worry. You know, I just continue to coach. Kasi marami kaming natututunan yan and for sure, mamaya yung mga mag-review, kasi mamaya po yung iba na mag-online pa, if they will review this um, episode, then... They, they, will, they will ask questions. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay. Okay, like, so let me continue. So choose the right kinds of food. When, when you say food, you're prepared, preparing food, make sure you're thinking of may nutritious value ba ito? I may not be able to cover it all uh, today. And then the second is, will this food give me energy or get my energy away from, from me? So much so that I, I feel tired after some time. So basic yun, dalawa. Okay? So please, food, nutrition, and energy. Okay, so if you take the wrong kinds of food, what will you get? First, you will get toxins. Did you know that basic metabolism, kukumakain tayo, it already produces toxins. Eh? But if you eat the right kinds of food, then basically, yung toxins niya, mamiminimize yan. So the process of metabolism, meron na actually. Tapos dadagdagan mo pa wrong kinds of food. The second wrong food is lack of energy. And we don't want that, right? Kailangan energetic tayo lagi. And I, I'll remind you again, uh, Genesis 1.29, the Lord already gave us the formula. Sinabi na niya, plant-based food. Okay, so the best food that you can eat on a regular daily basis is natural, organic, plant-based food. Meaning fruits, vegetables, nuts, herbs, legumes, root crops, basically plant food. And if it is organic, the better. Okay, now, what are my data sources? You're going to be asking me, eh, saan naman nagagaling yung sources nito si Doc Wellness na ito? First, uh, let me tell you, the basic source is my experience. <clears throat> For the last 30 years, I have been eating what I'm telling you. Last 30 years. Did you know that my breakfast and the breakfast of my family, we are, we are four in the family, is fruits only in the morning. Fruits only. Last 30 years. Can you imagine? Wala yung kwa dyan. Walang paltos yun. Especially me. Nako. Walang paltos talaga yan. Uh, while saying that, let me tell you about the digestive cycle of our own body. Part na creation ng ating Panginoon na to. From 4 in the morning to 12 noon, that is called the elimination phase. So whether you're white, black, brown, yellow, elimination phase yan. 4 in the morning to 12 noon. From 12 to 8 in the evening, that's called the intake phase. 
Now, let, let me explain a little. Elimination phase is when the body is naturally eliminating. Yun ang kanyang function. Naturally talaga eliminating. When you wake up in the morning, one of the first things that you're going to do is eliminate, right? Go to the bathroom. Kasi natural yun eh. Second is intake phase. So from 12 noon to 8 in the evening, that's the time that the body is programmed for elimination. I No, no, no. For intake. Meaning for food. Sorry. For food. So ready yung katawan natin. Program yan to be eating food. So that, that covers actually lunch and dinner. Okay, now. After 8, from 8 to 4 in the morning, that's called the assimilation phase. That's when the body has digested all of the things that you have eaten. And it's now putting it out and in, into our systems for repair, for growth, for rejuvenation. Now, if you time your eating habits and the food that you eat based on that cycle, you will be healthier. Oh, hey, malaking tip yun, di ba? You'll be healthier, definitely. I got that from my book, I think 30 or 35 years ago. It's called Fit for Life. And I put it in my has become a tradition already, a habit and tradition in my family. And I can say at my age, I'm approaching 70. Wow. I, don't have, I don't have any illness. I don't have, I have none. And so when I meet my high school climates, they're always amazed. Sabi nila, Dan, di ka naman tumatanda. Ano ka pa rin, parang high school. <laughs> Sabi ko, healthy oh. lifestyle lang yan. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's that's why we are really impressed yeah. with you for oh, thank you, thank you. your lifestyle. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And I think it's not too late for us yes. to yes. start. Oh, no, no, no. That's, it, it's right. never too late. The, the best time was actually yesterday, but the second best time is today. Anybody <laughs> can start. And I'm also sharing, I, I'd like to uh, make special mention for those who are 50 and above, because there are certain principles that we must put in our minds which tells you that naku, hindi na pwede. Ako na, ganito na ako yung age ko. Hindi na pwede yung sinasabi nito si Danny Kinto. Let me erase that from your mind, friends. Did you know that, yeah, one of my passion is actually uh, boxing, as you have seen there. I still do that regularly, actually. Uh, yung aking routine, aking routine na uh, actually yun. Did you know that if I faced a 25-year-old Danny Kinto, at my age, I'd beat him. <laughs> yeah. I may even be a lot faster because there are some things already that uh, I don't know. But I'm saying that at any age, you can actually improve. Did you know? Uh, there was a study done by a doctor, Barin, from England. He studied around 6,000 people. These are all elderly. Nakita na dyan sa kanyang study for three years that those who had a sedentary lifestyle died earlier twice than those who had uh, good nutrition and a little bit of fitness exercises. Okay, good news yun, hindi ba? And it's already seniors yan. And so even at as a senior age, you can still incorporate Low intensity exercises into your life. That's what will be for a good lifestyle. Now, the second data source is actually uh, the Blue Zones. It's a research done by a National Geographic author named Dan Boitner. He was given an assignment to go all over the world and look for the longest lived centenarians, yung mga areas nila. Areas are centenarians, meaning, so mo na 90 and above, and 100. So when you go into these areas, you identify five areas. You can see a lot of people who are 90, 100, and above. This includes Okinawa in Japan, Aikari in Greece, Sardinia in Italy, Nicoya in Costa Rica, and Loma Linda, California. The first four are all islands. The last one is right there in the middle of California. And you know what? They found out yung kanyang research because there is a real life people. Tinignan niya, yan pa yung lifestyle nila. And he identified, uh, 
nakita niya that one of their basic cultural habits, because they've been doing this for hundreds of years already, is that they eat more plant-based food than meat. Meron siya kinakain ng meat once, once a month, uh, once a week, ganun, but very smaller portions. But most of their food are plant-based. Vegetables, fruits, nuts, legumes. And you know what? This doesn't happen only in uh, rural areas. Hindi lang naman sa rural areas. It can happen in an urban setting. Because if you have noticed, I mentioned Loma Linda, California. Huh? Can you imagine? It's right in an urban setting, Loma Linda, California. And when pumunta si Dan Boitner doon, he found out that there was this group of people who had this very healthy lifestyle. Ang kanila actually, and it's based on their religion actually, ang kanila is based on their religious teachings, they cannot, they're prohibited actually to eat uh, meat. Yung kanila, of course, meron din yung pasaway dyan ang konti, but uh, yung kanilang food is basically plant-based. And you know that uh, they belong, if I, I'd like to mention the religious group, kasi tama eh, they're Seventh-day Adventists. Ganun kay stick to yung kanilang religious honing. And then, so, when you go to Loma Linda, California, and daming centenarians doon. A few years ago, I read a research being done in the United States. They wanted to research these religious groups who live longer. So they, they researched groups by groups. Ito. They found out that there were two religious organizations in the United States that live longer than ordinary. One of them, I already mentioned, the Seventh-day Adventists. The other one are the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And I would know that because they also have very strict uh, rules on what to eat. They call it the word of wisdom. I would know it personally, right? And so this is not just based on hearsay, but this is basically based on the search. Another one is the China. Let, let me just show you the book. I just get it, okay? Okay. The China study is a book written by T. Colin Campbell and his son, uh, Thomas Campbell. This is supposedly the most comprehensive study on nutrition ever done, ever. Kaya pagka they refer to it, parang Bible of Nutrition uh, Research actually ito. Eh. Now, in total, let me just uh, share with you what is the conclusion of this book. And somebody told because the authors, they went into rural China way back in the 1970s and 1980s. Hindi pa ito modernized na China. It was very agricultural. And they went into 65 villages. They stayed there for six to eight years. And they looked at the lifestyle of the people there. And they compared it with the lifestyle of people in the United States. You know what was their finding? Baliktad yung ano eh. In rural China way back then, most of the people ate plant-based food. So 80% or more of their food comes from plants, so vegetables, herbs. Baliktad naman dun sa United States during that time. And I think up to now, baliktad. 80, 75 to 80% of the people in the United States, they, they, add, they eat meat-based products. That's like a very processed. And so when they look at diseases and illnesses, baliktad din. A lot of uh, people there in China were very healthy. Actually, they didn't even have a word for arthritis, osteoarthritis. Wala silang, because wala sa, sa kanila doon eh. The incidence of cancer, of uh, other chronic illnesses was very low while compared to the United States because of their food intake, very high yung rate ng cancer and other chronic and degenerative diseases. And they attributed it basically to the food that they eat. Okay. Pindi. Right? And so I just absorbed all of those and I, I came to the conclusion and I put it in my experience that if I should be eating more plant-based food, then definitely I'll be a lot healthier, not only for now, but for later, later, for many, many years more. 
Wow. Okay. <laughs> Napakaganda po ng, ng usapan po natin ngayon. Kaya uh, during the pandemic po, we were able to have our own home gardening day. Oh, wow, yes. <laughs> um, well, uh, before we continue, we would like to greet po yung mga ka-tune in lang po sa ating Facebook today. Uh, Gina po studio. Yes. Diato, hello po. Yes, hello. And si Hadika Malaya, the owner po. Of your niche. niche. Yes. And at the same time, we meron po tayong uh, viewers from... Uh, I think Korea. From Korea, from Korea yes. right now. Welcome. Wow. Yes. Right. Marvin Rolando Aquino. Yeah. yeah. Um, Joseph Richard De La Cruz. Yeah. Florilyn Estayo. Thank yes. you for watching with us. If you have question for regarding for uh, wellness, all right. Staying just healthy staying healthy and active. Wow. I I realized today. You know, we can really be intentional. Yes. With our health, because. Nasa sa atin naman po, di ba? If we want to... Oh, yes, definitely. Yes. yes. So, napakahalaga po talaga yung discipline talaga po. No? Discipline on what yung uh, kinakain natin, what we intake. And of course, yung education literacy. <laughs> so, with yes, yes. knowledge as the foundation, we, we don't know. We will just choose processed yes. food or kung ano lang yung available na yes. yes. Actually... I think uh, napakaganda nga po ng time na to. Thank you for giving us this time, Coach Danny, kasi yung information that we can give to our viewers uh, na dadagdagan or yung mga hindi pa alam to mga bagay-bagay na to, at least they, they learn new something. Kasi uh, right now, kung ano yung trending na nakikita nila online, yun lamang po yung alam nila. Kasi oh, very wow. po yung mga, yung mga oh, well, there are a lot of sellers online ngayon. Yung mga food, napaka- Oo oh, oh, nga, yes. Bye. So we really need to learn more, study more, and thank you for, for giving us more information on wellness and stay healthy. Yeah, you can continue, yeah, Doc Wellness. Ah, okay, okay, yes. Uh, this one, although I'm, I'm speaking to a lot of people here, if there are any seniors here, let me mention them very, very specifically. Or let me show you or share with you what I do every day. So when I get up in the morning, sometimes it can be four o'clock, uh, five o'clock, or at the latest, uh, six o'clock. When I wake up, I say my prayers. I thank God for giving me another day and the opportunity to be of service to others. The second thing I do is have a quiet time for myself. Meditate, have a quiet time. Can be as little as five minutes. Don't talk, just meditate and maybe focus on something that you're going to do for today. And uh, just feel the, the, the energy that comes from God. So I, may, I do that. And then number three is following that, I take in water. It helps flush out the toxins. And before I eat Breakfast. You already know my breakfast. My breakfast is just fruits. Any type of food. Now let me see where did I put that. Let me see. Let, let, let me just get it. Uh, one second. Okay. I'll show you in a little while. Before I eat my breakfast, which is just a lot of fruits, I do low intensity exercises. So that's very basic. Low intensity. What you saw me a while ago was a little bit uh, high intensity. On. I can do that once or twice. A week, once or twice. Don't overdo it because I, here are some tips for fitness. In a later episode, because I'll be inviting you and our good friends here, the Padillas, so that I can illustrate it basically. These are just some tips on fitness. Many of us, when, I, when we say fitness, what comes into your mind? Can anybody answer? Brother Tony? Exercise, help me, exercise. Okay. okay. Sister Kesa? Okay. Yeah, healthy food and, uh, of course, uh, figure. Yeah, good figure. Yeah, good figure. Good figure, yeah. Oh, okay, yes. Okay, yeah. Uh, for many, when I say fitness, they say gym. You have to go to the gym, right? And for many, that's fine. Lalo na na when you go to... Uh, online right now, and dami mga konjan, mga posts on YouTube, for fitness, naka zumba, naka If you try to follow them, 
I will tell you that you will not be able <laughs> to do it for a long span of time. Kasi ang hirap nung ginagawa nila. And so one basic principle on fitness is one, it must be simple. Second, it must be low intensity. Why low intensity? Because your fitness exercises, you should be able to do it until you're 90, 100. You should still be able to do it. Can you do Zumba at that age? Wala na, hindi pwede. Puro high intensity yung mga exercises na makikita mo. They look good, but the ones who are doing it, they're, they're models, they do it every day. But even them, they cannot do it for a long span of time. When they get older, they, they won't be able to do it. So one key factor there is kailangan low intensity lang. Low to medium intensity. Kung meron kong higher intensity, maybe once. Once a week. Remember, we are in the modern era. <laughs> Sedentary ang ating mga lifestyle. Okay? Another one is no equipment. No equipment. No equipment. So wala na yung mga barbell, barbell. Yung mga, <laughs> mga treadmill, treadmill. Gagastos ka pa dun eh. Go to the gym, babayad ka. It must be the kind of exercise that you can do anywhere. You can do it at home. Ito na yun. Yung at home. You can do it at home. The exercise, I can do it anywhere. Did you know that I can do my protocol exercise even in the airport? Airport. Tuto yun. You know what I do when, I, when I'm in the airport? I go to the comfort room, restaurant, tawag mo yun ba? I go there, I lock the door, and I exercise there. Yung area niya is, one and a half by one and a half meters. I can do my exercise. Maybe I can share it with you by and by. But it should be the kind of exercise that you can do anywhere. And fourth, very important, you have to do it every day. Now, if your routine is to jog three kilometers a day, when there's typhoon, you cannot do it. If your routine is going to the gym, and there are times that you're in the gym, you're going to do your exercises, right? If you are in another part of the world, you will not be able to do it. But me, I can do the exercise anywhere. Anyway. Yeah. yeah anywhere. So you know. Question over there. Yeah, we have a question from Adhika Malaya po. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, we have a question from Adhika Malaya. Ah, okay, yes, please. Yung pagbabike po ba ay okay? I sure, Definitely. Biking, actually, the, the best exercise is walking. <laughs> it doesn't cost you anything, and you don't have to be experts on it. Walking, actually. But biking, because it, it, it's very good. It's very good for the aerobics. It's good for the, for the feet, the quadriceps. And definitely, it is low impact because wala masyadong malakas na impact on your, on your body. I'm sure, and I would recommend it. Uh, although na, na mentioned ko kanina, because you cannot bike every day. Okay? When there's typhoon, you cannot bike. And I mentioned one of the key criteria here is no equipment. So you can do your biking, but make sure that if you cannot do your biking, you have a set of exercises that you can do at home. Okay? All right. Any other questions, please? Thank you for the question. Yeah, it's a very cool question for the Oh, yes. So, so something, so we consider biking as high intensity or medium? So uh, but it depends on how long and what, what uh, your area, if you're going to go trail biking or major high intensity. Okay. You know, but going around the online, the neighborhood, na, uh, <laughs> enjoying it, or bleeds a lot or a medium. Yes, so for many, Pag sinabi mo kasing fitness, it is mm -hmm. as if they're training for a fight. Yeah. Now, uh, one of my backgrounds is I'm a boxing trainer. actually. So I know how to train. I've been with our Pambansang Kamao. He's a good friend of mine. And now I know how he trains. But he does not do that every day. He doesn't do that every day. He'll get burned out. He does his routine. And so when you think fitness, you are not training for a fight. You're not training for a fight. You're training for wellness and longevity. So it should be 
low to medium intensity. Something that you can do every day. So one, isipin mo lagi, kaya ko bang gawin to every day? Pag hindi, maybe you can scale it down or adapt something, add something in it that you can do every day. Now let me share with you. Do I have time? You just tell me. Yeah, we have time. We have time. Oh, okay, okay. Three, three, very, very simple lang ito. For this, I need to stand up a little. I don't know if I, you, can, you can see me. Uh, okay. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, three targets that you can have for everyday fitness. One is your core muscles. Here. Yeah. Your core muscles. Another one is for your upper body. And the other one is for your lower body. So tatlo lang actually yun. And I do this every day. Believe it or not, I do this every day. Uh, and very low intensity. And when I do this every day, I am at least 50 to 60% of my maximum fitness. When I say my maximum fitness, I'm talking of I'm preparing for a fight. Let's say I have a fight uh, two or three months from now, boxing fight. Kailangan, pagdating ng laban, 100% na ako. But if I do this every day, I'm at least 50 to 60%. When you saw me doing that, that was just around 60%. Yeah, it depends on fighting. Now, the core muscles here right, are very important. Why? Because they hold up our upper body and they take care of our lower body. If your core muscles are weak, then definitely you are, you are weak. So when you train, you train basically for four areas, four or five areas. You train for speed, flexibility, uh, power, and balance. So yung apat na yun, speed, flexibility, power, and balance. All right. So for your core muscles, you're training here for strength and stability. Kasi kung mahina ito, hindi stable actually yung taas mo, hindi rin stable yung baba. So when you're talking about core muscles, and nakikita nyo ng abs, alright? Yeah, yeah, you're talking of abs here. Then definitely, what comes into your mind when you're talking of abs? Bill, Bill. Ayaw, six pump, eh. Six pump. Six pump. Okay, so well, what do you think ang exercise when I'm talking of the, the regular exercise? What's the best, ex best exercise that you can do? Um, Push-ups? Upper body. The sit-up. Yeah, sit-up. Sit so, okay, you're right. Now, ito, when you do sit-ups and, and when you say, you, when you tell somebody to do sit-ups, sasabihin niya, hindi ko kaya yan. Right? Actually, I'm going to do I'm sorry, I cannot illustrate it right now because uh, I, I usually do that. I go down, but you cannot see me there anymore. Right? And sit up. I can do sit ups. But if you tell uh, that to somebody who's 50 or who's been sedentary, niya, Hindi ko kaya yan. correct? Okay. Now, there's a better way of doing sit ups without doing the regular sit ups. One of the ways you can do. And please do it because I, I cannot illustrate right now. If you lie flat on your bed or something that's flat, and then instead of going up, this is, this is your, your head, instead of this coming up here, it is your legs going up. So in legs mo, itataas. It has, believe it or not, it has the same effect. Pareho rin yung effect nun. So instead of you putting up your head, it's your feet. Going up. So you try it later, okay? We will okay. we definitely yes. do it so, and it will be a part of our routine. <laughs> oh, oh, doing up yun, ganyan. Kanya lang, alam nyo, meron pa rin yung iba, sasabihin nila, mahirap pa rin ho eh, ang kaya mo lang isa. So don't worry, you start where you are. Kung kaya mo lang isa. After one week, kaya mo na dalawa yan. One, two. So, hindi kagaya ng mga regular pa na, you do 10 of this, you do 20 of this, hindi you start where you are. Yung kaya mo lang. After three weeks, tatlo na yan. After four weeks, apat na yan. Then mag-progress. But did you know that there's an easier way? So my protocol is very easy. Easy to test actually. Very easy. You know that there's a better way of doing that? 
And that's what I do. I don't do yung magano. Kundi kaya natin na eh? or the lifting up the feet and all that. What you need to do and for those of you who are you can do it actually. You can put your hands on the hip. You can put it here, you can put it basically anywhere and what you can do is actually lie back. There. Okay? Yan, ganyan lang oh. Yan. If you try it, you'll find out that it's your abs that are being exercised. Wow, that's yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. Very easy. And you can do this anywhere, even if you're in the office. And then what about the other sides? You can go from aside from just forward, you can go to the side. One. Oh yeah. And then the other one, yeah, you, you can even do it while sitting down. Yeah. Okay, so that takes your the front, the, the back muscles. You can do a planting rise. Ka naman, ka. Yeah. So, Doc, so that's no reason anymore na you cannot do exercise. Anytime, anywhere. That's what I do when I'm in the comfort room sa airport. Wala naman nakakakita. Nag-exercise na lang. And then, ito, uh, siyempre, pabilisan mo. One, two, three, four, five. I do 100 of those every day, every morning. Wow. And then, oh, of course, later. Everybody can do that anyway. Okay. For the upper body, you mentioned it already a while ago. It is actually push-up. No equipment, di ba? Lada equipment eh. Push-up. Now, when you tell somebody who's 60, 70, sabi mo push-up, aba, wala na sabi niya, sir, hindi ko ho kaya yan, push-up na yan. Di ba? Meron niya yung challenge on FB, nakikita ko, 25 yes. days, 25 push-ups. You finished that yeah. challenge. I, 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 Tapos mo ba ako, sige, si yeah. Brother Chris, tinatapos niya na yan eh. Yeah. Okay, no, I'm not saying that I don't do that. I'm not, I'm not telling you that. But what we're talking here are exercise, fitness that you can do every day. They're very easy, very simple. Anyone can do it. Now, instead of doing that, you're on the floor. I'm sorry, I can illustrate it. But find something, a table. Now, I can illustrate that. Table. And you know, here, this is, a, this is a table, right? Okay. And you do it here. Table. Yeah. Chair. So something that is elevated. And you can do it, right? Wow. Yes, exactly. Now, instead of doing the full, full, your full na ganjan. Instead of doing, instead of doing that, you do it half lang. Kalahati lang. Well, para madali. Ganyan lang lang. Ganyan lang. Para naglalaro ka lang eh. Doc yes. Wellness so, yeah. hope to a lot of people yes. here. <laughs> so, madal madali lang. And so, we're, we're trying to make it as easy as possible. So, anybody can do it. There's no excuse. None. Yeah. Now, kung hindi pa niya kaya dito, you can do it against the wall. Oh, kaya kaya na niyan. Wall. Madali lang yan. <laughs> I guess no more. Justification na. Yeah. yeah. You're really giving hope, yeah. Doc Wellness. Kasi yung iba, when they feel like, oh, hindi ko kaya yung push up. <laughs> so it's yes. the end of everything. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we try to make it, we have, we have to make it as easy as possible so that they can do it. Anybody can do it. Eh? Anyone? Uh, push up against the wall? Or anybody can do that, right? <laughs> and like I said, don't do the full. Hindi full. Kailangan yung, nag, ganyan ka lang, no? Naglalaro ka lang. So you can do 100 of this. And yeah. what's good with this is, even if you're in the office, you can do it in the office. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the third one is our quadriceps, our, our legs. Okay. And while I'm talking about this, I'm telling you that it is my protocol every day. Mm -hmm. oh, every day. The third one, I don't know, you will not be able to see me here, is, uh, how, do you call it? how do you call this now? The squat, squat. Squat, yes. So very easy, so you, squat. you try, and when I mean squat, I mean, uh, mas mabuti at the start, if you can, right? You are na mas diretso ito. Pag hindi naman pwede at the start, you can, you can bend a little. But it would be better after some time I straight limit it up, straight. Now relax na, and now relax. And you, you just do what? Okay? Very lang. This is very easy, very simple. Yeah. If you do a hundred of that, 
believe it or not, yung iyong quadriceps matibay. You can climb. Ayan. So maganda ito actually for those who may bicycles. Mga bicycles, nako, pagka ano ka na ganyan. And then you can progress from that later to a jumping squat. That's what I do already. Basically, I, I do a jump. I don't know if you, can you see me there? Ah, yeah. yeah. So I can do a jump, jumping squat like this. Wow. Okay. So to make it uh, so it doesn't get boring, I add some variety into it. Now, let, let me see uh, if you can see me. So I, yeah. I, I clap my hands. And I clap my hands then. Like that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> no one will believe that you pretend them that you are already 69, 69 boy and turning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So basically, the message ko yata don is for my senior mm -hmm. compatriots. Kaya mo ito. Kaya mo ito kaya kaya mo. Yes. Um, don't, 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 don't. Of course, they, they cannot. Uh, they should not be comparing somebody. Exactly. They need to compare it to themselves. Yes. Kung may problem siya, oy, ano na ako? Compare natin kay Pampansang Fitness Guru, oh, wag. <laughs> no, wag. Kasi what I do is when I push up, doon sa baba, on the floor, I clap actually. Oh. Yung, uh, pag taas ko, nagka-clap ako. <laughs> wow. I do this many times when during seminars to get everybody's attention. Kasi makikita lang, uy, ha, ah, yun. <laughs> <laughs> just to get attention, just to get attention. Well, that's not the regular thing. Wow. Okay. Now, so, so, fitness so, exercises, tadlo lang. Oh, what, what you need to do is focus on uh, the core muscles, on the upper body, push up, and then squat. Start from basic. Kung kaya niya lima lang, no matter, go ahead. Next week, baka anim na yan. Then magpo-progress yan. Oh, toto yun. And so, when you think about it, uh, mga kalaban, magagalit sa akin yung mga may gym eh. <laughs> Pagka sinasabi ko ito, gagagalit na sila. Total kasi. <laughs> so, there are better ways actually of staying fit. Yes. That's so timely rin po kasi mm -hmm. the gyms are closed. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so, the gyms are closed. And so you can do this at home. You can do it at home. Yeah. In some, I, I would have some episodes later on uh, wellness. I'll be inviting you so I can share with you some of the other things that you can do. For okay. Thank you. Uh, are there any questions, by the way? Yeah, there are actually more questions here, Paul. So we would love to have another yeah, segment. Yes. yes. Like, uh, yes. What okay. we have been talking a lot about uh, nutrients, energy, mm -hmm. and of course, fitness. Yes. They're, they're really interesting topics now we cannot talk in one, talk yeah. about. Yes, yes, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. So yeah. we hope that you will give us time again at the uh, next discussion on. Oh, the... Yeah, sure. You can just, you can call on me anytime. Yes. <laughs> yeah. One of my, uh, you, you mentioned it a while ago, my legacy, I'd like to leave it as a legacy. Yeah is to be an evangelist to help other people live healthier, happier, and longer, more, more meaningful and fulfilled lives. If I help one person, I achieve a goal, right? <laughs> one person. So for me, this is what it Plus factor for me. If I help somebody, oh, she said, oh, it's good what she said. So I'm going to help you. Sure, yes. Right. That's part of my goals. So we have another comment here po from Alhika Malaya. Tinatanong niya po, my yes. channel si Doc Wellness or Coaching, I want to be his student. Yes, nabanggit niyo po. Uh, sure, sure. Yes. Uh, whoever that is from Alhika Malaya, uh, thank, thank you for that comment. Like I mentioned a while ago, in two weeks, I'll be opening a wellness course. Mm -hmm. I'll post it with uh, Pony here and Kreza. I'll make sure that they know. Maybe they then the ones to contact you. The first part of it is free, basically. When you go there, it's probably one to one and a half hour, very overview of it. And then later on, there will be a coaching course. This will be in a master class. Mm -hmm. So those who are interested or who are qualified, 
you can go into the master class. It will be eight weeks. So by that time, I'll guarantee you <laughs> that you will have a wellness mindset. Ano mo yung first part nun? is actually how to achieve a wellness mindset. Mm-hmm. Because when you say, you mentioned a while ago, discipline. Yes. Many times it doesn't work actually. <laughs> it doesn't work. And so yung first part nun is how to detoxify yung erroneous <laughs> mindset natin. Yun yung first part nun. So mm-hmm. once that is detoxified and you put in a new mindset there, yung wellness con mas madali rin yung absorb. Yeah. So you're welcome. Please attend. Yes, please. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. We would like to attend. Oh, yeah, yeah. You are invited. Kayo are invited. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And also, sa mga nagtatanong, uh, of course, mm-hmm. our Pambansang Fitness Guru, Doc Wellness, is also on Facebook. He has a Facebook page. Danilo Quinto, Pambansang Fitness Guru, and Doc Wellness. Also, meron po siyang YouTube Channels yeah. of wellness. Yes. It's simple, no? Okay, so. And where where can they also find you? I think we can just uh, tag you here. Yes. So if they want to contact you directly, they, can, they can send a message, send a message to you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Kaza. That, um, that, that would be a lot of thank you for me. Yeah. Yes. 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 If there's something that, you know, and then let, let me tell you, I digress a little. One of the idols that I had, uh, even when I was still young, was Michelangelo Bonarotti. You know him well as one of the best sculptors, painters, uh, artists, and in many disciplines. I don't know, I don't go and see Michelangelo. He was, he was the one who carved the statue of David, Marami siya ginawa actually na ano eh, even right now, they're still very, very famous. You know, you know what, uh, at around 89 years old, somebody uh, went into his studio and found that he was doing other things. He was studying some things. And he said, Master, uh, why? why? Why are you studying? You're already well-versed in many of these things. Uh, what's the reason? Why are you still doing this? And you know what? That has stuck into my mind. Kasi nabasa ko ito. Sabi niya, I am still learning. So yeah, I'm still learning. Can you imagine Michelangelo? At 89 years old, he still continues to learn. And so that's one of the principles that I have in my life. I can learn at any age. And I can learn from anybody. I have learned from brother Tony and sister Reza here. But they're good friends of mine. And I can learn also from, from anyone, basically. And so I think that's that's a good principle that I've maintained throughout my life. I remain green. If you are green, you're growing. If you are ripe, you start to rot. <laughs> okay. Wow, well, those are inspiring yeah, words. Yeah, for... yeah, words of wisdom. Yes. And sabi po ni Adhika Malaya, I will definitely invite Doc Wellness. Yes. For your information, Adhika Malaya is a pen okay. name. Okay. It's a pen name and uh, he's uh, an author of e-books and also published in Amazon. Wow, he's, galing! Uh, yes. He's the owner of Unich, yes. uh, the future local Udemy in the yes. Philippines. Wow, galing! So they are also creating uh, websites, uh, for those uh, companies who need their services. Marami po silang services for those who are also planning into coaching online. Uh, yung sinabi niyo po kanina, uh, Kuya Danny. They, they make can, systems. Yeah, they make systems. You can also collaborate uh, with, with him in the future. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, you know what? Uh, this is a side one again. Huh? I am actually in finishing two or three books. Wow. Maybe uh, si Adhika Malay again help me there. Yes. One, one is a book on our, my good friend, si Senator Manny Pacquiao. Oh, wow. I'm excited about it. Inside, inside stories that people do not know. When you read that book, you will have a better understanding and you would feel close to Manny Pacquiao. Mm. Another one, of course, definitely a book on wellness and fitness. So I'm, I'm working with them. I'm finishing it. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. Thank they you, can, thank you. 
Yeah, yeah next... they can help publish publish books po. Oh, thank you, thank you. Expertise nila, nila yes. Sir Ika Malaya. Oh, yes. Nga, yes. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, okay. and I'm sure we're going to have another segment. Yeah. This is really yeah. exciting, interesting, and of course yes. we have to start being more, I mean, becoming <laughs> intentional with our yeah. Of Help, all the yeah. knowledge na, that we have learned today, napakaganda rin po yan na uh, couple exercise. Ah, yes, yes, yes. We so. can do it together para mas exciting. The whole family, exciting. even kids, sabi yes. nga, kung ganun ka simple, even kids mm-hmm. can do that. Mm-hmm. With yeah, a... Definitely, oh, oh. Excited lang lang mga yan eh. Exactly. Hindi, hindi nila alam, nag-exercise na pala sila. <laughs> And what is good about this is, uh, When I'm talking of wellness, basically I'm talking of the next generations. Mm-hmm. Why should we stay healthy? It's because you will have children and they'll have children and children. If you give the good example, they will say after some time, and I can imagine this, a eh, hundred years from now, I will have a great, great, great grandson or granddaughter. And he or she will say, Mama, I remember, who was that guy? I forgot his name na, I think Lolo, Lolo, Lolo. He was the one na nagturo sa inyo ng kung ano, how to eat properly and how to exercise. Siya yun eh. But I don't know his name na eh. He's very small. <laughs> I imagine that. Because it will impact the next generation. Right? Yeah. Yung, man, eh. If you give the wrong example, ah, yung next generation mo ganun din. They'll just follow you. Yes, tama po. And also giving them the right fuel, as yes. you mentioned. Fuel, yes. Yes. The parents actually have the responsibility in feeding them. Yes. So kung ano yung kinakain natin sa bahay, that's their fuel. Yeah, it's really right. family. That's right. It's yeah. really right. sa family. Para yeah. yung yeah. right fuel of the things that they need to Organic, eat. plant-based, yes. yes. Uh-huh. It's really good. Actually, uh... Last year, I founded, I started a movement. It's called the Blue Zones Wellness and Longevity Movement. A lot of it is based on the research of Dan Boitner. Kasi yung limang area na yun, he called it the Blue Zones. Uh, the official name, it's registered on the SEC, is Blue Zones Wellness and Longevity Movement Incorporated. It's non-stop, non-profit. And the purpose of this movement And welcome everybody, actually. Welcome is to help communities, whole communities, start and implement a healthy lifestyle. Now, why communities? This is one of the things that I've learned from Dan Boitner. When you start a wellness lifestyle, ang hirap pala if you do it, ikaw lang. You're in a family? Ikaw lang yung nag-exercise, eating well. Hirap niyan. Mahirap eh. Mahirap talaga. And I've done this to a lot of my friends. Nahirapan sila eh. You know the reason why? Because their environment is not a blue zone. Meaning, you need to start with a family. Lalong-lalo na yung tatay and nanay. If you can introduce them to this wellness concept. And so, when nanay goes to market, She buys a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruits. Hindi na yung dati. So pati yung mga, Juan, yung mga nakikita nila, puro wellness, si tatay at si nanay, they do exercises. And so after some time, we start with a blue zone home. Now what I did last year, I introduced it to Baguio City. I talked with uh, Mayor Magalong. They studied it. Around November, he approved it. So that program, that project, is approved for implementation here in the city of Baguio. Wow! Old Baguio. Unfortunately, yeah. eh, biglang nag-COVID na, <laughs> na ano eh, na ako naman eh. But we'll be continuing. Part of our ongoing program to make uh, Baguio the first blue zone in the Philippines. Wow! So, yung second niyan, Urdaneta. <laughs> okay. Kasi right? nandun si Brother Tony at si Sir Cresa. Yeah, with Adhika Malaya, we can expand that to yes. Batangas, Bulacan. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yes. I'm excited about that because that's part of my program. Now, there's a, what do you call it? I don't know if you call it a slogan. Kasi kung nakikita niyo, my, my shirt here is Blue Zones, Wellness mm-hmm. and Longevity Movement. Diba? Right? 
may tatlong kami dyan. Uh, this is part of my advocacy. When I turn around, can you see that? Healthier, happier, longer. Wow. Yeah, okay. So in tatlong yon is designed to help you live healthier, happier, and longer. Okay. You know that uh, the healthier you are, it impacts on your happiness level. Very simple lang naman yun, di ba? If you're sick, wala na. Wala na, hindi ka na makismile niya. <laughs> exactly. This is impact. So, tatlong ko areas yun. Eh. Health, <laughs> happiness, and longevity. Wow. Yes, okay. I'm just, I'm just excited to, because I've made it not just my passion right now, let me tell you straight, but I think it's my calling. Mm. I feel that somehow uh, I probably Heavenly Father has said, ah, ito manak ko nga ito. <laughs> Bigyan ko nga ng guan, so he has time to share this. So I feel it's, it's a calling. It's no longer just a passion. It's basically a calling. We can we can start or if you have a community na po we would love to gusto po namin mag-join kung wala pa po we can collaborate with the oh, yes, sure yeah th thank you and the way we're doing it uh, here in Baguio is we start with the barangays yes wala akong mga nakausap na barangays eh i teach the I, I, i talk about it first and the two barangays that i talked to are very excited eh, the best barangays in Baguio and sabi na, implement na natin to kasi it's for their community. It's community-based ka lang. Hindi pwedeng isa-isa. Hindi pwede. Mahirap actually to stay well na ikaw lang. <laughs> Mahirap eh. They have to create the right environment. Meron naman process yan. I can, I can share it uh, with you. Nadelay lang kasi because of the current uh, pandemic. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sure. I've learned a lot today. Yes. Thank you so much, Doc Wellness. May mga questions na dito, like how to be a member or yes. how to join the community. Yeah, but yeah. we are going to tell you more about this. Mm -hmm. Especially, we're going to invite more. Uh, and then we're going to invite again yes. our coach. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> my honor. My honor. My honor. My privilege. Thank you. Any final message for to our viewers right now, coach? What? Okay. Any? Uh, final message, I think one is you can be healthy whatever age you are in. You need to start where you are now. Don't say, Nako, hindi na pwede. Hindi, hindi ko na kaya yan. Hindi. You need to start right now. Why? Because it not only impacts your happiness, but impacts the next generation. You have to think about that. Your next generation is going to be following you. If you keep sitting down on the couch every day, They'll be doing that for the rest of their lives, right? And for the next, 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 our children's, our children's, children's, children. Now, one of the things that I've left out because uh, there are other people who have probably more say on this, but I have, I believe in this very deeply, is our spiritual life because it impacts directly also on our health. You know, our connection, with a loving Heavenly Father. And if we have, if we follow more his teachings, he has told us that the body is a temple of God. And whoso defiles this temple, him will God destroy for the temple of God is holy. So please keep that in mind that if we go by the precepts of a loving Heavenly Father, we'll, we'll be healthy. He has a healing hand. But if we defile it, like eating all of those things and not doing things that are right, then definitely we can get ill, not only with COVID-19, but with more chronic and degenerative diseases. I'm just happy to be part of the show right now. I'd like to thank uh, Brother Pisanto and Sister, I mean, Brother Anatolin and Sister Pisanta Padilla for giving me this opportunity. It's part of my calling to share you do with this, it's a blessing on me actually to be coming here. And I hope I have blessed some lives. Uh, please don't just listen to it. Please do it right away. Please apply it right away. And the next time that we see each other here on Facebook or in other places, please tell me your, your experience. And I will invite you to my next free course on wellness, 
and longevity, the secrets of wellness and longevity that they don't want you to know. <laughs> okay, so thank you. Stay safe, stay healthy. God bless us all. Thank you. Again, maraming salamat po, Coach Danny. We learned a lot of today. Some of our viewers natin, we know that you learn a lot of uh, today. At excited po kami sa mga future na mga activities, wellness activities with Coach. We invite you. Uh, you can follow yung Facebook, the Sir Danny Quinto. Yes. So that's wonderful. Doc Wellness. So thank you so much once again. See you tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Bye. Bye.